Hi, my name is Marika and today we are making sure that you post the best quality art on Instagram. And by the best quality, I mean we are making sure that you post the sharpest and clearest version of your drawing possible. And we are not going to experiment. I have already done that in the past. I will show you what I do step by step. And this will be especially useful if just like me, you are a little bit fluid with your canvas sizes. I personally never print my art. I'm not bothered with the ratio of the canvas I'm using, but that's actually going to be important when we post our art. So what we are going to do right now is that we are going to work on this one. You have probably already seen the video. So as you can see, this is a horizontal image and it's huge. We can go to image size, so it will also, yeah. Uh, if we go to pixels, it's eight and a half thousand pixels by 5,000 and it's like the resolution is 300. So this image is actually huge. So this is obviously a very high quality, but we are not going to post something like that to Instagram. And I will tell you why. That's not what Instagram wants from you. If you think about it, the app is made for mobile. So all the images that you see are just this tiny. So they don't want you, they don't need you to put this like huge images there. If you do, they will just compress them. And you don't want to leave anything to Instagram. You can't just say, this is my file, do whatever you want with it and make sure it's the best quality ever. That's not gonna happen, so you have to make sure that you do it yourself. You have to compress the image yourself or Instagram will do it themselves. And if they will do it themselves, it will be kind of blurry and soft. What we are going to do right now, we're going to Google what's the size of your image, what it should be, and this is what we are getting. So the Instagram post square ratio, one to one, it's like 180 by 180. It's significantly less than 8,000. And we have the portrait. So what we are going to do is we will go back to Photoshop, close that. We are going to create a new file. So width will be 180, height will be 1350, and the resolution for websites and for anything you post online will be 72. You can use 300 for painting and printing, uh, but if you posted something online, change it to 72. So now we are going to create our portrait post for Instagram. I always go for portrait because you are taking as much space as possible. You are going to want to copy all of that. At least that's how I do it. I don't crop my image. I don't do anything with it. And now we are going to copy merged. Now paste it. And now we have it in here. If we click the free transform, this is our image. It's right here. So we can create a zoomed in version or we can just play with it. So we are now playing with it and just trying to pick the right size for Instagram. You can crop some parts out. You don't need the whole image to be there. If you actually prefer the more zoomed in version and you want to post like just the portrait, let's say that like just her face, because the image that we were working on is like so huge, you can just post her eye. So if you prefer to post just a very cropped in version, you can do that as well. Now that we have it here, we can just save it. So what we'll go and do is save a copy. You're going to pick JPEG because this is like the smallest available one and we don't want to overwhelm Instagram with like PNGs and anything like that. Yeah, you're going to just name your file like this, beautiful name. And now we're going to save it and we will have these options right here. And you're choosing the maximum quality and optimized format option. And you're going to click OK. And here it is. That's all I do, honestly. Sometimes uh, what I will do as well, uh, I will, for example, sometimes you will do like carousel posts with something once again and do like a little bit of a zoom in, something like this maybe, wait, maybe a little bit more closed in, maybe that will, this is actually looking much better. Okay, let's, let's do that. And you can decide that this is like your first post and the other one will be showing up after. Before you decide, I'd suggest you to 
zoom out like that so that it's really small like more or less the size of your phone right now that you look at it maybe even smaller that would be actually ideal and you look at both of them and you can then choose which one to post on your feed and that's it to be honest no more magic you just have to remember to crop the image yourself or instagram will do it for you and it won't be pretty I promise, because you probably have seen all of those, those blurry images. That was easy, right? So that's what I do. Hopefully you find it useful. So stay tuned how to do the same thing, but for videos. It's coming soon. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.